Hey y'all and welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you've joined me. I'm sitting by the window. It's rainy and dreary and I don't have any makeup on, but that's okay because we've got a church lady segment coming up today. We're inviting somebody from the church, somebody special, and who's going to share a recipe with us. So stay tuned. Hey guys, stay tuned for the blooper reel at the end. Hey guys, and welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. Tonight is the first episode of our Church Lady um, edition or segment. And this is going to be an ongoing segment as I pull recipes from ladies I go to church with or who I've been to church with. So, who better to introduce this segment than my very own best friend and daughter, Caroline. This is her recipe. This is what she brings to the potlucks. This is what yeah, she brings to homecomings. You got suds on here. I got suds. Me and, me and Judah has been playing yeah. in the suds. So um, anyway, without further ado, this is a recipe you've probably seen on the internet. I think it's called Mississippi Mud Roast, or, and there's different names for it. Yeah, I found it on Pinterest. So, um, but she has perfected it. I don't do my roast this way, but I really like her roast. So we're going to let her, I'm going to take the baby. Hey, bitches. So you're gonna have to kind of bear with me because I've never, I've she, never videoed. She's anything. never hosted a show on video. Now let me tell you what we do have. I, I have two roasts. One was store bought. Well, I have more than two, but anyway, and one is ours from our cow. I didn't think the store. I need to use this one up because it's been in the freezer a while. Um, I've drained the water. I cut a hole in the corner and drained the the blood off, and um. So I got this one out, so we're going in with the crock pot with two roast. Um, just because I didn't think I had enough. You know me and how much I cook. Okay. So what you need for this is your meat, your roast. Um, a mess. I normally do chuck roast, but I guess you can do whatever. Um, you need a ranch packet. Um, I get mine from Audi just because they're a little bit cheaper. Stick of butter. And some good old pepperoncinis. So instead of your like onions and carrots, I do pepperoncinis. So um, I guess that's it and we'll get started. Which one do you want to go in first, Mom? Um, I come in with the big one. Okay. The homegrown one. The home Here. the homegrown one? The homegrown one. Alright. Let's get down for just a little bit. We'll come back, okay? Okay? Deal? You just dump it in there and then we'll pull the paper off. And the trash can's on the other side of the... I'll, I'll get it in just a second. Hey, hi, Kiki. <laughs> Judah's saying hello. Is that all of it? Hello. Is that all the paper? I think so. That? Okay. All right, watch out, buddy. Oh. Hey, hey, all the dirty There, say hey. Ask him to say, how are you doing? I'm doing that. I'm wet. Yes, he's wet. We've been playing in the dishwater. All right. And here comes our second piece. Okay. <laughs> here, I'll move so you can wash your hands. I'll stop it while she washes her So take two, okay? Um... What I was saying earlier was that this is a good recipe for working moms because, for one, I did not inherit the cooking gene. Um, my brother can cook, my mom can cook, my dad can do some mean stir fries, but I can't. So, um, but I, I can do. So they can, hear you. can you guys hear me? All right. So I can do a pot roast, and I found this recipe on Pinterest, and I kind of mastered it. And, um, yeah, that's about it. If I can do it, you can do it. So what you'll need oh, is... sorry. You're fine. Um, how do you tilt this? Okay. So what you'll need is all juice packet. 
If you don't have this, brown gravy will work too. I like this better, but brown gravy is still good. Uh, ranch packet, I've already opened. Um, stick of butter and some pepperoncinis. So we've already put the roast in the crock pot. We have two different roasts. We have one from our farm and then one store bought and it, it just wasn't gonna be big enough so we, we put them together. Um, what you're gonna do first is you're gonna take your ranch packet and kind of sprinkle it over the roast. You'll use the whole um, packet, or I do at least. Uh, when my mother-in-law makes it, she cuts down to half a packet because she thinks it's a little salty, but I like salt, mom likes salt, we like salt over here, so we do the whole packet. Then you'll do the au jus, same way. Am I saying that right? Au jus? Au jus, okay. Mm -hmm. Just sprinkle it. Have you ever had a fruit and dip sandwich? Yes. The au jus is the stuff you dip it oh, in. Oh, I did not know that. Okay, stick of butter. Just plop it right there on top. You don't have to melt it or anything. It can go in cold because it'll cook. And then, to your taste, throw your pepperoncinis in there. My dad likes pepperoncinis, so we're going to use a lot. Um, do you use any of the juice? I do pour a little bit of the juice in there. Any uh, water go in there? Yes. How much do you not get it? Well, um, I pour the juice in first, and then I just cover it. Uh, I just cover the meat um, with water. water. Yeah. With water. And then I cook it. The water just makes it tender, I think. I think that's the reason why. I don't really know well, it keeps it from the theory dry, behind so. of behind cooking. I just do what I'm told. And I just like to... So that, oh, sorry. So that jar was full and that's how many pepperoncinis I used and that I poured a lot of the liquid out. But you do it to how, how you like it. And then you just cover the meat you don't want to like fill the whole crock pot up but cover the meat that's good um, I'm gonna push this butter down in there just so it okay, hold on, look at it. and then you put it on though overnight that's what I do you can adjust your times to whenever you're eating but since it's sun since it's gonna be Sunday lunch we're gonna cook it on low overnight and then it'll be ready to go for lunch tomorrow y'all i'll be dreaming about roast in the middle of the night smelling this so i cannot wait and you can just throw whatever sides with it i mean green beans mashed potatoes we're probably gonna have mashed potatoes and green beans that's just our normal mm -hmm. go-to and i've got some rolls left over store-bought rolls so we'll probably do that um you're just playing in the Judah's water just playing in the water he's getting soaking wet so I'm going to go ahead and get this on low. It's going to stay on low all night. And we'll see you guys tomorrow when we start enjoying it. Good morning, guys. I want to show you the roast that's been cooking all night long. I'm going to turn it to warm, to keep warm while we head to church. But, oh, I think Bryant's already been in it. He, you know, he always has to give something a taste test. So hang on, let me show it to you. Okay, y'all will probably steam up when I open it. Oh, y'all. It looks so good. Okay, guys, we're home from church. We've um, come home. I've got potatoes going, boiling, green beans going. And Judas playing the guitar in the Judas background. Judas playing the guitar. Here is our roast. It's been on warm. Look at that. I'm going to lift it up. Just We're going to leave it. We're going to serve it in the crock pot. But I'm going to lift it up just so you guys can get a good glimpse. Look how tender and juicy it Look, is. it's just falling apart. Look at that. Look yeah. at it just fall apart. All right, I'm going to grab Bryant a fork and let him give it a try. All right. Okay, guys, Bryant is ready to try the roast. Let's look at it. Look at it. It is so tender and I love he loves the pepperoncinis pepperoncinis when we order from Papa John's I get the peppers when we go to Olive Garden I get the peppers he gets the peppers I always very tender I mean it's just falling apart <laughs> it's 
coming out of your mouth. <laughs> it's hot. 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 You've got a mouth of steel. It's not caliente. It's not spicy. It's yes. temperature. Temperature hot. temperature hot. If you watched yesterday's video, we hung out with some of our Latino friends from church. So I've been working my, on my Espanol. Hit. Mm -hmm. yep. You need work on it. My espasa cook a luncha. <laughs> cook a luncha. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm not sure that was correct. Yeah. Look, look there. Look, look how it's come apart. It's just falling right apart. It's been on Let low. Me see. It's been on. Look at it. It's just come apart. It's been on low all night long. The flavor is really good. You got trapped. Is is it this called Mississippi mud? What's it called? Mississippi pot roast. Mississippi pot roast here in Ashburn, North Carolina. So tell your daughter how the roast rates. Well, for the only dish that she can cook, it's a 10. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She can cook more. Good job, Caroline. Good job, Caroline. Thank you for being my first church lady on the Farm and Pastor's Wife. Yep. There you go. Good morning, guys. It's Monday morning, and I'm dressed, ready, fixing to head over to the chicken houses. I really hope you enjoyed the crock pot recipe, Caroline's roast crock pot recipe the mississippi mud roast or whatever you call it um i hope you enjoyed it it was sure was delicious and so tender it was wonderful but i wanted to thank you guys for um watching the farm and pastor's wife i hope you enjoyed this church lady segment i hope to start this at, um, my goal is to do one a month and i want to highlight a lady and i'm if they can't come to my kitchen, I want to share a photograph of them or a story about them or a little bit about them and then share their recipe. Um, I'm, I'm getting things together from both churches that we've pastored and so I'm hoping to get this off. So my goal is one a month, but hopefully I can do more than one a month. So um, I hope you enjoy this. It's going to be really fun. I'm excited about it. But please subscribe, like um hit the bell notification all those things share my videos and um i wanted to thank you guys for joining us stay tuned for the blooper reel there's a little bit of blooper reel at the end and thank you guys for watching the farm and pastor's wife and remember if the grease is hot enough you can fry anything bye y'all okay so i'm not a cook i did not inherit that gene um, but this was a recipe I found on Pinterest that was really easy. It's good for busy moms to throw in the crock pot. <laughs> Can you believe that? Oh, it's not even recording. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> okay, so we're back. Um, what I was saying before I left was... It's good for busy moms. good for busy moms. You can just throw it in the crock pot. She said she was not a cook and that she did not inherit that gene. Yes, I did not. Like, hamburger helper all the time. <laughs> um, or I eat here. So, but this is one thing that I can do. So, if I can do it, you can do it. Um, do a stick of butter. Just drop it in. You don't just have to melt it. it. Well, yeah, no, just drop it in. Sweet. Love it. Everything melts in the... Everything melts together, huh? Mm-hmm. What about the au jus? Yes, there is au jus. I totally forgot it. Do you have any? No, I just Jamie have some at home? Yeah, we have some. Well, we she did inherit the unorganized gene, though. <laughs> and her husband's not answering. Uh -huh. Hey, so I didn't, I forgot the au jus ah! packet. Can you get it out of the cabinet? <laughs> All right. Bye. He'll be here in a minute with it.